at Hayes State Prison in Tryon, Georgia. Okay. Sergeant Brandon Henderson is heading out to escort inmates to their work details. It's a daily routine, but this isn't every other day. Inmates have promised a boycott of the prison system. And no one knows whether they will go through with it until now. It's about time for a change. It's been a long time. Change is coming. A change is coming. The fate of the protests rests with the first shift kitchen duty workers. If they don't go to their job, the sit-in is on. Yeah, hey, uh, Lieutenant said that um, we went in there and already asked them. They've already asked all the GP dorms and nobody reported to work. We have one who said he would be willing to go. OK. All right, but for one out of nine. Yeah. We ain't going to send him out. I, mean, I explained that I'm not going to put him out there. Right. Because that's jeopardizing him. Right. So that's the deal right there. Only one inmate was willing to work, but for his safety, the prison won't allow him. The protest is officially underway. We're not gonna work, we're not gonna do nothing to get changed out here. We're willing to just ride it out. Everybody in here willing to just ride it out. We ain't got nothing to lose. What we got to lose? the administration jumps into action. Because inmates are refusing to come out of their cells, the prison must come to them, delivering the morning meal. Hey, you want to eat? Turn this light on. Take this crap off this window. One eighteen. This first encounter could be an opportunity for inmates to lash out at officers. Right, face the window, all the way to the window. You ain't got to, you ain't got to eat either. That's up to you. Stay facing the window. 219. But so far, all is quiet. The prison's response is going as planned. Elsewhere on the compound, however, some inmates are flooding their cells and throwing trash under their doors. A sign that not everyone intends to sit silently. We want some parole. We want some help, man. We want to get paid. Will y'all keep behind me? Because this is a movement. We want to get paid for working at these Voltaire games for free. Just know we tired of this We laying down, man. Y'all going to have to earn y'all own check. We do it, that man. Inmates might be pushing back. But as the morning progresses, the prison makes its move to take back the reins. We're going to keep the inmates at least on 24-hour lockdown, uh, possibly even longer. They asked for this. They're the ones that refused to come out, refused to work. We're basically turning it around and putting it in our terms and deciding when they'll get out. What started as a sit-in will now be a lockdown. It's the prison's most valuable tool of control, a means of maintaining the peace and disrupting inmate unity, something that is central to the prison's effort in light of the latest intel.